Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you some code I wrote, well, I really should say adapted from a, a post I found on the forum, to create a BMP from pixels, and it's just a really simple way if you have the GDI library. We've done a couple of videos on that using the GDI Plus library, and so you can get that from also from my website, and uh, let's go ahead and jump into the code. Now, this code you can get from here, and actually, I think I'll just include the GDI library as a sister file in this download, and let's show you the code. Um, it's very simple code. So this, of course, just has my default settings, which just has hotkeys for launching and signals and force. Uh, and you, I have GDIP in my library folder, so I don't technically need this. However, if you don't have it in your library, make sure you include the path to your GDIP plus library. Watch my video on using libraries if you haven't done that. Uh, and I, what it is, I create a function here. It has three parameters. There's the color you want. There is the size, the number of pixels. So it'll be a 10 by 10 in this case. Or we could do a one by one or, you know, 15 by 15, whatever the dimensions you want. And then the path to where you want the file to be created. So those are the different parameters that we pass to the function. Here I have a couple of the colors. So there's white. Studio, notice when, you hide, when you're on it, it shows you that's red. This is blue and uh, like a lime green kind of color. So uh, you get the idea. These are some different colors you could pass to it. Um, where you, here's the function. So, you, you know, this is where we're passing here. So this is the pixel color, which gets put in there later, the dimensions, and then the file path. Those are the three parameters we went through here. Uh, so, and, and this is the actual post if you want to go look at it. Although they didn't really, I went back and commented on the stuff that uh, I was clear on, that I knew what it was doing. But I don't use this library a lot. I just thought it was pretty cool. And they had it where um, they didn't have it that was, you know, in a function. They had it with the different variables and, and doing some other stuff. And I thought it was kind of odd, so I just simple streamlined it and simplified it and flattened it a bit. Let's just continue walking through it. So you're yeah, setting the format to integer, great. This is, I'm deleting the file if it's already there because I'm, you know, like, hey, if you know you're using this file, if it's already there, it doesn't overwrite it, which is really interesting to me. So I just said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and delete it there. Here we are trying to start up GDI. This is the starting up. Now, this says, if this doesn't exist, do this message box that says it failed, and then we're just going to do a return. Since now we're in a function, in the original code, it, it did, I think it exited the script. Uh, this one, we're going to return back. Maybe actually return back an error or something, but uh, this is this, and it pops up a message box saying, hey, you probably don't have the GDI library. You know, make sure you go get it. It actually has the URL where you can get it there over on the far right. And then it continues on. If everything's working, it'll get to the next part. And here we're creating the bitmap. This is where we're just doing the same dimensions. And we started here. And then this part, I'm, I just don't quite understand. I mean, I understand it's looping over it. And I think it's adding a pixel at a time so it loops through them. And then it saves them. It calls the GDI save bitmap to file function. And this is where we're using that file path. And I'm not sure what the 100, I could probably go look that up. Maybe I want to say no. I'm going to say that's probably the quality. I mean, JPEGs, I know have quality. I don't know about bitmaps. Uh, anyway, well, we can jump to it here in a second uh, and dispose of the image. So this will just close down that the initial thing and shut down the GDI library, just cleaning up some memory. But without a hotkey, you know, the minute when you exit out of the script, it'll get cleaned up anyway. But I figured, you know what, I'll leave that here. Now let's bring over, um, just so you can see it, let me bring over folder where this is. There we go. So notice in this folder, there is no, there. this is the temp BMP folder. So I'm going to make sure this is running. Now I'm going to hit back here. I'm going to hit my hotkey and bam. Hey, here's this test. Beep. Now it actually has a preview here. If I click it, this is a directory opus. It shows you a little preview here. Now let's say I want to change that color. So let's copy this, be lazy, copy, paste, save, reload, come back in here. I'm going to run it and notice it, it updates here for me. So we're writing these. I could change again. I could change Let's change those dimensions. Save, reload, run it. So, well, so, uh, and let's do one more with the green. Sure, why not? And let's make this uh, 500. I'm, I have no idea if that one on the left is going to update in size. There's got to be some. Yeah, so that stayed about the size. This is a helpful way if you're trying to create a bitmap with a certain size, you can use this function and of course call it different ways and create different images and, and then do stuff with it. I created this because there's this long video with Maestrieth and Hellbent where Maestrieth was showing how to use an ActiveX and instead of 
doing stuff the way that he was doing it, and it's so much faster. So keep a lookout for that. I'm going to be editing that video um, and posting it here pretty soon. I wanted to make this available just because he's, he, Maester manually went through and created a bitmap file, and it was you know interesting, but I think it's just better to have a function. Why not have a function that we can include so people doing that can uh, start learning the stuff? So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like uh, the video. It really helps me out. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Have a great day. Cheers.